What is up, everybody? This, once again, is Scott Porter, and we are back with our fourth and final video of the unboxing series for the organized play event this summer for WizKids, for HeroClix, Civil War. Of course, based on the comic book series from 2006, not the movie that is out in theaters right now, crushing it. If you haven't seen it, run, and I do mean run, sprint to your local cinema and check it out. I'm gonna get right into it today because we got a big video. We're gonna unbox both of these boosters, okay? Then we're gonna look at the support booster. Then we're gonna take a look at the two sculpts from the grand prize kit uh, that I have here. Two of the eight uh, figures that will be given away as grand prizes uh, coming up in August. So let's take a look very quickly at our two boosters. Okay, let's see. We have on the anti-registration side, two pieces we haven't seen yet. We have Patriot from the Young Avengers. I'm hoping we get a lot more Young Avengers in this uh, organized play event as well. Of course, he's got his grandfather's shield. Pretty cool. And we have Vision. Kind of a phasing up out of the ground there, if you can see. Uh, again, these anti-registration bases, they are very, very dark blue, but they are indeed blue. Okay, they're navy blue. They're not black like I thought way back in the first video. And speaking of the first video, if you haven't seen the first three videos, go back and watch them, and then come back and rejoin us for the final day here. Uh, our neutral piece, and this one is uh, Speed Freak, who is one of the uh, C-level villains or D-level villains that the New Warriors were hunting down on their reality show uh, and the major event that kicked off all of Civil War uh, when Nitro went nuclear and uh, Stanford, Connecticut, uh, which unfortunately resulted in the death of a lot of innocent kids as well as the New Warriors and a bunch of these villains themselves. All right, here we go. We've got the pro registration. We've got Miss Marvel. Carol Danvers, of course she was pro-registration. And then we have, oh yes, oh she is going to be the must-pull piece, I think, in these battle royales this summer, Songbird. I haven't really seen anybody else, I think, that is going to warrant TK and probably some of the support powers that she's going to be able to provide. And look at that, look at that awesome sculpt those translucent wings on the back of her she looks really really cool all right the second booster we have the second and final normal booster all right we have okay our neutral is uh <laughs> the plunderer my gosh I would have never thought you would get this guy the plunderer uh, made into a hero clicks that is hilarious uh, we've got jack-o-lantern who we've already seen uh, but we do have a gentleman that I used to rock a long time ago on competitive teams and win with and we're talking like in 2004 2005 after explosion came out uh, he's also a big part of one of my favorite comic book issues of all time, Doc Samson, when he psychoanalyzes the uh, 1990s Peter David run version of X Factor. Um, Doc Samson, pro registration with that green hair. The green haired Fabio, if you will. Uh, Anti-registration. Let's see. Oh, there he is. I've talked about him a lot during this series. We got the Punisher. Oh, yeah. Just rattling off that Uzi and this sculpt here. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers out of the way. Yeah, look at that. He looks like he's like riding a pony made of bullet spray. <laughs> uh, and then we have, uh, oh yeah, the man himself, Luke Cage. All right. There we go. Uh, we'll take a look at these, a bunch of these figures kind of in depth 
uh, really quickly. Start with that second pack. Do want to take a look at Luke Cage? Want to take a look at Punisher? Want to take a look at Doc Sampson? Uh, and I want to take a look at the Plunderer. I'm just kidding. I don't want to take a look at the Plunderer. I'm not going to do it. Uh, you guys, it could be a surprise when you pull him <laughs> in the events. Um, let's take a look at Doc Samson first. Uh, where is that green-haired Fabio? Okay, there he is. One more time. Quick look at him. Okay, he rings in at 70 points. A nice even number once again. He has... Hulkbusters. Oh, Hulkbusters, huh? Hulkbusters! Ah! Uh, he has the Hulkbusters keyword, pro registration, scientist, and X Factor. Thank you very much. Well done, WizKids. Nice keywording there. Uh, he has a special movement power called Psychoanalyzation. Doc Samson can use mind control with a range of six. He has no range otherwise. Uh, he may use it to target a single friendly character of equal or less points. If he does and hits after actions resolve, deal that friendly target one penetrating damage. But still, what a brilliant way to use that. He can force one of your own friendly team members uh, to do an extra action basically through that mind control. He can mind control friendly characters. Very, very cool. All right, well done. I can see him getting a lot of play again. I played the heck out of him after it. I, I played him. Black Panther, Wasp, Fire Lord. I think that was like like one of my teams way back in the day. There were only three sets out of the time. Uh, no action after taxi was not a thing. And Doc Samson was a beast. He was a beat stick. He had perplex. He was great. I used to use the dumpster or the, uh, the Coke machine, the physical object token, the Coke machine that would give you an extra plus one of damage. Yeah, I'm an OG Heroclix player. I go way back, son. I go way back. Uh, let's look at Punisher. Uh, he's got two traits. One is called Locked and Loaded. The other is called Empty the Clip. So there you go. Take a look at him one more time. Riding his, uh, pony of bullet spray. Um, <laughs> Locked and Loaded. At the beginning of the game, place three ammo tokens on this card. When Punisher KOs an opposing character, place another ammo token on this card. Uh, his other trait is called Empty the Clip. When Punisher targets one or more characters with a ranged attack, he can remove one or more ammo tokens. If you do, when making the attack roll, it can't be re-rolled. And you can roll an extra D6 for each removed token, then choose the two dice you want for the attack roll. So wait a minute. All right. So he pulls two ammo tokens off this card. He gets to roll four dice and pick the two uh, that best suit him in that particular instance. That is rad. Uh, he also has a special attack power, Deadly Barrage. Give Punisher a power action. Remove an ammo token to make a ranged attack. Then make another ranged attack. The first attack doesn't activate the damage depletion, not modifier. So uh, he gets full damage and he gets to make two ranged attacks. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Man, those ammo tokens are, are dirty. He's 80 points. That is pretty awesome. The last guy is Luke Cage. He's got a trait, Unbreakable Skin. When Luke Cage is dealt penetrating damage, it can still be reduced. That's right. Psychic Blast, still reduced. Exploit Weakness, still reduced. Sorry, fella. You ain't getting through my hide. Uh, he's also got a special defense power called Not Giving Up. Luke Cage can use Toughness and willpower. All right, that was pack number one. Let's take a look at what we had in the other pack. I definitely want to take a look at Vision. I want to take a look at Songbird. We'll take a look at Patriot and Miss Marvel and Speed Freak. We'll take a look at everybody in this particular booster, okay? I'll be as quick as possible, but I want to take a look at everybody. First one is Speed Freak. Okay, he's got uh, limited flight as a improved movement trait. Limited flight, he ignores elevated terrain. Uh, he also has adamantium coil. Speed Freak can use precision... Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Speed Freak can use precision strike. When Speed Freak hits an opposing character after actions resolve, you may place that character within two squares of Speed Freak. And he has it while he has hypersonic speed. So I think as he's running by you, he can hit you, and then wherever he ends up, 
drop you two spaces away. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Ben Crawler, of the uh, Night Crawler that can grab you and bring you back uh, to the base with him. So uh, I'm sure he's going to get plenty of play. He's 70 points. Then you've got Songbird, who has a trait. Justice like lightning. That's what I thought. I thought these Thunderbolts were going to have this shared trait. Uh, after actions resolved during which Songbird... Uh, turn which Songbird damaged one or more opposing characters with an attack. Roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. On a result of 5 or 6, remove an action token from a friendly character with the Thunderbolts keyword within 4 squares. So you got to kind of bunch them together. But all the Thunderbirds, so I think, I mean all the Thunderbirds, all of the Thunderbolts, uh, like I think Bullseye, I think there's, there's got to be a Venom in here somewhere, uh, Radioactive Man, of course, they're all going to have that same trait. Uh, she has Femazon's Master of Evil Pro Registration and Thunderbolts as keywords, by the way. She also has a special attack power called Sonic Constructs. Songbird can use Force Blast, Incapacitate, and Telekinesis. She's going to be deadly in these sealed Battle Royale type events. Uh, Miss Marvel. She has Avengers, Kree, Pro Registration, and Soldier. She has a trait called Photonic Absorption. When Miss Marvel is hit by a character that can use penetrating psychic blast or pulse wave, after actions resolve, remove an action token from her. If you can't, heal her one click. This can't be ignored. So if she has no clicks and you pulse wave her, she's actually healing a click. Uh, if she has no action tokens and you hit her with penetrating psychic blast, sure you'll do the damage. If she doesn't have any action tokens, she'll heal back a click. So you got to be careful when you attack her. And that is her only uh, special thing on her dial. Uh, we have Patriot. Let's see, where's Patriot at? Yeah. Good old Eli Bradley. Isaiah's grandson. The one who had no powers for a while in Young Avengers, yet still was a leader. Um, let's see, he's got uh, parkour skills. Parkour, parkour! Uh, he can ignore hindering terrain. He's got Young Avengers Assemble. Patriot can use leadership. When he does and succeeds, he can remove the action token from a character with the Young Avengers keyword regardless of their point value. So he only rings in at 60 points, uh, but he can take a token off of Wiccan who is 90 points. Uh, no problem at all. Last but not least, we have Vision. Okay, Vision has a trait called Protect Cassie no matter what. It's a unique modifier. If Vision is adjacent to a friendly character named Stature, modify their attack values by plus one. Okay, uh, his keywords are anti-registration, robot, and young Avengers, by the way. Uh, that was a trait that protect Cassie no matter what thing. He also has a special defense power called density control. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose one to last until you choose again. Vision can use super senses and modifies his defense value by plus one, or Vision can use invulnerability and super strength. All right, so uh, he's changing his density. He's either extremely hard to hit, or he's hitting you ex extremely hard. So that's pretty cool. We'll take one more look at this Songbird Sculpt just because it is so rad. And then we will get to the Support Booster. And then we will get to two more pieces from that Grand Prize Pack uh, at the end of the summer that you'll be getting in August. All right, let's see. The Support Pack, um, let's see what comes in it. I'm pretty sure... Uh, you get maps in here, I think, um, and I don't know what else. Let's just find out. I'm just going to rip that thing down the center there. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, I forgot about these. All right. We have two maps here. It comes in a Ziploc bag. Ah, yeah. Waste kids stepping it up. They got a Ziploc bag now you can carry your maps around in. That's really kind of them. Um, let's see. In here we have a Prison 42 map, and we have a Final Battle New York outdoor map. Uh, on the other side we have the Chemical Plant outdoor, and we have uh, the Stamford outdoor, which I'm pretty sure is just a giant explosion site. Uh, I'll let you guys see what these maps are when you get to the event. Uh, at least we know what the four maps actually are representing uh, with those. Uh, n titles of the maps, but I'm, I'm not going to unfold the map and show you everything. Uh, now we have uh, bounty cards, and the bounty cards are pretty cool in what they uh, what they do uh, during the 
uh, actual event itself. I think when you have a bounty card and your pro registration or your anti registration, you have a bounty card of the opposing uh, team and you actually KO one of them and reclaim your bounty card. I think everybody at the event that is on your side, whether you chose anti registration or pro registration, uh, will get a click of healing for their characters, which is pretty cool. So we have Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Iron Man, Doc Samson, Spider Woman, Daredevil, Vision, and Captain America are the uh, bounty cards that we have. And you can see the uh, backs of the cards and kind of take a look at uh, what the other side do. So I think that's pretty cool, actually. Superhuman Registration Act, and these are the bounties for the people wanted unlicensed superhuman. Uh, and then the, uh, the other ones are official identification cards of those that are pro-registration. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's see. Uh, in the support pack, we had two of these bags, these little foil bags. And these are, I think, the prizes like the main general prizes. So let's take a look. Is there a notch here? Yeah, all right. At the first one we get, ooh, the first one is a bad boy. Bob, Bob Reynolds. Uh, it's Sentry, and his sculpt is awesome. I love how his cape is kind of blurring behind him as he's taking off with such speed. It's really, really, really cool looking. Mm. All right. Now I know that WizKids has a uh, preview scheduled for Sentry, so I'm not going to read you uh, Sentry's card or go into detail with him. Just wanted to show you. <laughs> this is awesome though. We will go in detail with this lady. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail with the Sentry. I'm going to let WizKids go ahead and do that for you guys when they preview him here uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks. Uh, but the other prize is Night Nurse. She's only 20 points. Uh, she better be like a Jane Foster type. Um, I think that's awesome though. She's got a little bag of blood. I mean, she played a huge part in Civil War, um, helping Capside you know, kind of keep themselves together as they were fighting against the massive resources of the pro-registration side. Uh, Night Nurse has anti-registration in Marvel Knights. Um, she has, I'm more of a behind the scenes type of gal. Stay still, won't you? We're going to be here all night patching you up and go to the room on the right. Uh, those names are of course representing stealth, defend, willpower, and support. Uh, so she does have willpower and support, uh, and she has it for two clicks. She has a 10 attack value on two clicks. She has an 11 attack value on two other clicks, and she has defend and a 16 defense, and she has stealth all the way down. So uh, that's pretty rad. She's going to definitely uh, be able to help the anti-registration side stay alive. Now, I promised you uh, two more of the grand prize sculpts. Um, I don't know if you guys know everybody that are going to be in this set, but um, I'm going to go with Namor just because his sculpt is so ridiculously, insanely cool. Uh, he's sitting on his little Atlantis throne there, which is a, you know, it's like a clamshell on the back, of course. And then this is so hard, this is so hard because I've got, I've got four more and I'm only am going to choose one to show you guys. Uh, but I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to go with the what if version of uh, the Captain Iron America, which was Steve Rogers if he was Iron Man. Uh, it's like a what if Civil War issue that they did. And that sculpt is just awesome. So cool. I can't just see, I cannot wait to see what this guy does. But of course, you're going to have to wait to August to figure out uh, what he can actually do on your side when those grand prizes start rolling out in August. Anyway, this is Scott Porter. I hope you guys had fun unboxing the organized play event uh, that we're all going to be participating in this summer. Um, 
I'm super stoked. There's nothing I like better than sealed style tournaments. Uh, I love any tweak that you can put on them. I'm really enjoying the draft idea and the battle royale idea. It's going to feel every time that I go to one of these events like I'm going to the battle royales at a convention. And I love that stuff. I absolutely love it. Um, we got to see some of the prize support. Uh, we got to see a ton of the figures, pro registration, anti-registration, the neutrals in the middle. Uh, we didn't pull a nitro. I'm sure he's in there somewhere. Uh, we didn't pull like a speedball or uh, who else was uh, – who was the big guy, the big scientist that like got blown? Mike Robe, I think his name was for the New Warriors. Uh, we didn't see him either. I'm sure they're in this set somewhere. Uh, but what we did pull looks really, really cool, especially that Punisher and that Falcon. Those guys look awesome. Songbird looked amazing. I can't wait to play with her and Radioactive Man and uh, Bullseye and the other Thunderbolts. Uh, I'm really excited with what we're going to be uh, playing with uh, for this whole summer-long organized play event. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching these unboxing videos. Guys, this is going to be a lot of fun to play. So once again, I'm Scott Porter. Until the next time I see you, may all your roles be critical hits.